Hi, my name is Dean Squires. I'm one of the instructors here at the edcenter.ca online school, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your profile. Your profile is perhaps one of the most important pieces of information about yourself that is stored on the EdCenter servers. It will contain an image of yourself, it will contain your name, and a little bit of background information about you that is used to introduce yourself to your classmates and to your teacher. You can access your profile by clicking in the top right hand corner of any EdCenter page. Right now I'm logged in as Joe's student. So when you're logged in, you'll see your first and last name here and an avatar. If we click on this avatar, we want to select where it says profile. Now, profile, you'll find a couple of different sections, user details, any badges that you have awarded, and any courses that you are currently enrolled in. For today's video, we're going to click on Edit Profile. Now the key thing when we're editing our profile is to make sure that we have our first name, our last name, our email address, and then filling out any other information such as town, country, a little bit of description about yourself. Please keep this description very general because it is public to anyone that is logged in on the EdCenter server. So you want to think about this as you introducing yourself to a class or perhaps something that you would use as an introductory on a Facebook profile. Very general just to introduce who you are to a group. Then finally you'll find a user picture. You can have any picture you want but we do prefer a picture of your face because it allows us to start identifying who you are and let's and creates or it helps create a sense of community online. To add a picture, you can drag and drop files into this box here, or you can simply click on the new plus symbol here and choose a file to upload. When you are successful, you'll see your picture displayed here where it says current picture. If you're in the process of uploading a picture and something goes wrong, you can always click on this delete picture and when you save pages, save changes to this page, it will delete the picture and you can add a new one later. There's also other fields that you can fill in like additional names, if you have an alternate name, any lists of interests, optional of course if you have any phone numbers or web pages that you want to share and other fields. If you have a cell phone number, I would, and we would greatly appreciate if you would put that in there. This part with other fields is only uh, accessible by EdCenter instructors, so they'd be the only ones that have that information. So in sum, with the profiles, make sure that you have your name, a picture of yourself, preferably as your avatar, and filling in a little bit of information about yourself that you would like other people to read on the site. Thanks for watching.